All right, good morning, everybody. It's about 8.15 or so on uh, the 13th of January, back over at the garage. I promise that I am in a better mood and will do a better job today. Um, so the, the goal ahead is going to be to reassess my job here on this particular uh, support bracket and see if I want to redo that or in some way get that closer to the panel, uh, the bulkhead. And otherwise, back at the uh, inner wheel well, or inner wheel arches over here and getting the patches replaced. Uh, the more I looked at this patch that I had made for, for this area here, the uh, the back half of it there, you can kind of see the seam. Um, I'm not real happy with that, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and probably cut that off and, and redo that now, especially that I got the metal brake. Um, I don't have to put such a hard crease in this because I'll be able to make it one piece of metal. And the more closely match this um, curvature of the, of the fender there, um, so yeah, so that's about it, uh, but a good, she got a solid couple hours over here, and, uh, gonna use templates, and less, big lesson learned, I think, for me, is forgetting to do that stuff, so we'll, uh, we'll move down and, uh, see how it goes. Alright, well, I already had my first small victory, so that's good. Um, I was able to fit a hacksaw blade just barely in between the bracket support and the bulkhead, and was a, and, and just sawed through the um, spot welds or the plug welds that I had done because the weld metal was preventing me from banging the firewall forward um, so once I got that and it was just the perfect thickness to, to remove enough of that plug weld that I was able to then bang from the back uh, on the bulkhead and force it closer to the flange so the top and the bottom were good so now the center is good um, actually looks even a little bit better than the other side so um, that's ready to, to complete the welding there so I probably will wait on doing that until I get the welder out for other stuff. But uh, but that's close to being done, so good. All right, got my first template made. Um, should go something like this up there. Oh, if I can get that on camera and not cause a huge shadow. Anyway, it should go something like that. And this is for the inner portion the out of the outer wheel arch here on the bottom. Um, so I'll expand this out like this trace it on a piece of metal and uh, and see if I can use the brake and the shrinker stretcher right because it's got to get curved just a little bit though I kind of cut it so that it didn't have to but uh, we'll see how it goes but uh, that's that's the plan so here we go all right well um, there it is it's not uh, it's not real pretty so I used the shrinker to kind of get the curve on that side but the only way to fit that in was to have the, the metal in an L shape instead of the U shape like it is. Um, so if you look at that side, uh, it's more square, but that actually kind of fits up the way that my uh, piece is cut. So uh, it's gonna fit up something like that. Um, the problem is is that this this one lip should be a little further in, a little kinda, so that the, uh, the, the wing proper can fit over top of that. Um, but I think for now, that's about as close as I'm going to get. And then the bottom here, that still needs to be trimmed up and taken care of. And then up here, where the support kind of goes in, I got to look at that too. But uh, but at least for an initial um, rough fit, I think I'm happy. I may tack that in uh, the way it is, or I may play with it a little bit. Since I'm going to replace the, the rear of the wing itself, that one patch that I already put in, I'm going to do that again. Um, and take care of this little notch here that I had to cut out. I'm gonna um, probably leave this the way it is. So then I'm gonna move on to back here and, and try to get um, this portion of the, of the wheel arch where it comes down and hits the strengthener and uh, see how that goes. That's next. All right, so I'm trying to fit this piece here. Um, I cut template, which obviously needs to be bent a little bit. I'm not quite sure that this is gonna totally work um, because the, there was nothing here, so I don't know what this is really supposed to look like on the black car, it was gone also, um, and I can't really fit the, the repair patch up and have it in there at the same time and see anything or get in there to anything to trim anything, um, so I kind of fit this in here and I bend in a little bit. <laughs> The, the interesting thing is obviously this is a flat piece of metal, not as easy, easy to bend as the paper. So when you line that guy up there, it doesn't even look like it's gonna even remotely fit. 
even though when you put the paper over it, you know, it's, it's pretty much identical. So that'll be interesting. I'm going to try and figure that out. I mean, it's, it's all curves and everything, but it's, uh, it's definitely confusing. So moving on. All right. It's about 1030 update. Um, this is, uh, becoming a real bear in here to get the metal curve properly. Um, so I think what I might try to do that the one repair patch that I tried just wasn't wasn't uh, fitting up. So I think what I might try to do here is leave this uh, up here, stick a piece of paper in there, and see if I can get it to form, and then use take the the repair patch off the big black piece here, and then use kind of like the inside as a as a negative of what I want to do. Um, but yeah, this this is. Uh, it's a little confusing, but uh, but it's going okay. So we'll see how it keeps going. All right, so it's about noon. Uh, and I've been struggling with this patch piece back here for a couple hours, and uh, it's a little upsetting. But that's kind of how it is going to fit in. But I think it's because it's such a complicated curve, even though it really doesn't look like it. Uh, I just can't get the thing to fit. So my intention is to... Go ahead and tack it in like this um, in a couple spots and then see if I can beat it into submission uh, is essentially what I'm going to do here. And if that doesn't work, then I'll, I'll try something else. But um, I'm kind of sick of playing with it and uh, I don't think I'm really going to make it any worse here by trying it this way. So we'll see how it goes and I'll update you. All right. Well, that appears to have worked. Um, Obviously not flush down there at the bottom, but I'm not real concerned about that because the, the uh, flange for the patch piece comes in there. And I still need to put the face on over here. I'll do that with the, with another piece of metal, uh, but that should be relatively simple to do. And again, this is all hidden, so I'm not real concerned about it. So I'll finish up the, uh, the welds here and uh, get that piece on. And then the next step will be to cut the patch piece. Um, the way that it's supposed to fit and continue on from there. All right, about 1.30. Got this, uh, this patch in and most of the way cleaned up. Um, still have some finish welding to do that I'll worry about when I get to put the uh, outer patch on to make sure that it lines up properly. I, I have a feeling that my angle is not steep enough here. My curvature is not um, steep enough and I'm gonna hit it, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll probably have to cut this little section out anyway for the flange part. Uh, and I got this guy all in and cleaned up. He's good to go. And uh, so you finally got that. Not uh, not great, but it, but it definitely is going to work. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I think, is shift over to working on, on the bottom of the wing area here. And instead of using this uh, etching that I did from the inside of the boot, I think what I'm going to try to do is take that manila folder stuff that I've been using for the templates and try to recreate the bottom um, of this wing using that stuff and then fit it up to the car and cut and snip and, and trim it as necessary to get it to fit and then bounce it off of this and then see how it's going to line up. So uh, that's a thought. We'll see if it works and uh, continuing on. Oh, and by the way, I have a little garage buddy running around in here today. Um, I think it's a mole, only because he's kind of fat and slow, and he runs right down the middle of the uh, the floor. He doesn't really seem to uh, take to the to the corners and the walls like like a mouse would. But uh, he's been back and forth a couple times, but I haven't had the camera handy or the the video camera handy. If I see him, I'll uh, I'll stop and and see if I can capture some live footage. All right, so I've got the lower ring piece in, clamped uh, a lot, and ready to weld up. Got everything painted, got all the paint cleaned off, used the flattened drill bit to get inside this, the plug weld holes, um, and I'm going to try these uh, spacer things. Uh, not for the first time, but pretty close. Um, so I got pretty good gap here on all the way down. Starts to get a little wide towards the end here, but not too bad. And then it's pretty wide right in here. But I'm going to push from the inside, and that'll that'll shrink some of that gap up. Um, in here, I'm just going to have to kind of deal with it. I 
I think. Um, so they play with that. All right, I tried to do that. It didn't really get any better. The, uh, for whatever reason, the um, the wing strengthener on the inside that I put in isn't coming down as far. Um, so I'm not getting one, two, three, four and a half or so of these plug weld holds that I put in. Silly, not really paying attention and thinking about it. Uh, there's no, there's no strengthener there. Um, so I, I think based on how well that the wing is fitting up, that for pair patch of the wing, I believe that the strengthener I didn't um, angle it far down far enough. Um, but whatever not really all that concerned about it. I'll use my little uh, welding spoon here to, to kind of back it and, and be able to fill those holes back in. I wish that I paid attention, but whatever. Um, so again, I'm gonna tag it here, here, over here, and I'm gonna play around from the inside to push it out over here. I got my, uh, my compressed air ready to go so that if I have, or hopefully I won't have the heat problems that I had over on the other side, uh, I'm gonna take it much slower. If uh, if I run out of time and I only get the thing tacked in, then that's that's gonna be fine. Um, you know, poor poor driver side is the is the guinea pig here, so we'll see how this one goes. So I got it tacked in in several places, hopefully good enough um, for government work right now anyway. Um, I'm gonna pop now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to weld this one in real quick. Let's get another plug on this guy, hold on. this guy held in this metal isn't in real great shape but uh, you know so be it I got the uh, the uh, balance that I'll be welding in there too so I'm not that worried about it that's strengthened it up uh, so I've got a couple spot welds or a couple tack welds and then a, several plug welds down at the bottom there I'm gonna unclamp everything and uh, see how it goes good size gap there that's gonna have to contend with uh, gets a little big over here so uh, guess I'll go in clamp that get that a little tighter in there get that plug welded sort of a couple spots gonna go from the back and uh, run run a bead there just to kind of get that tacked in but there you go so uh, I'm gonna stop the live action show shot get uh, <coughs> excuse me get some of this welding in if not all of it and uh, I'm not going to get to the front part of the wing today but I'll give you uh, I'll give you one more update before I before I head out for the day GoPro stop recording GoPro stop recording GoPro you don't listen 
All right, everybody, it's about 3.30, time for me to go. Uh, I got the lower wing in. Uh, real happy with the way that came out. And uh, that is without grinding. So I got a couple Chef Tush welds in there, baby. Um, so yeah, no, no real bowing that I can see. Um, man, I, I wish I had taken that, uh, taken this approach on the other side and just welded in absolutely what was needed and nothing more. I think this car, when I'm all done, will be a tale of which side did he do first and, you know, make a little contest or something and look at the, look at the two sides of the car that I repaired and you get to guess which side I did first because it'll be the worst of the two. Um, so still have a little bit of finishing up to do under here. They're not much. Actually, I never did go back in and tack in the bottom, so I got to do that. Uh, got that guy done, and uh, never did get to the patch uh, on the outside, the front wing patch. I got some work to do there. I, I think uh, I'm going to have some interference down here. Oops. Down here, like I had mentioned. And uh, I didn't get to the uh, battery box supports, but I did get them. I uh, did get the bulkhead flush with it so I was happy about that so all in all not a bad day what uh, what did we do about uh, about seven hours or so um, but again the, the key today was to take my time use the templates not try to rush and uh, I ended up getting twice as much work done as I did you know on a normal day where I wouldn't uh, pay as much of attention as take quite as much care so um, if you learn nothing else from this it's better to, like I've said, and I, and I know, and we all make that same mistake, it's better to do it right the first time and take your time than to, than to do it twice. So, but anyway, there you go. That's it for me this weekend. Um, hoping for an Eagles win tonight and the Patriots lost, even though I live in New England. So that would be cool, but I don't think it's going to happen tonight. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate any comments. Please feel free to comment or ask any questions or whatever. And uh, please visit the website, www.roundtailrestoration.com. Uh, I'll try to get this post up maybe tonight or tomorrow and, and get uh, a one for one instead of my, uh, my normal two for that I've been doing lately. So have a good, uh, have a good rest of your weekend. Cheers.